Hey guys, Tim Marshall with Enlightened Equipment. I wanted to take a minute to talk about sleeping pads and the role they play in our sleep systems. Every now and then, we have people call us and tell us that they're cold in our, in our sleeping bags and quilts. 50% of those cases, we are able to track the problem to a sleeping pad. What we find is um, that people are choosing a pad because it's comfortable and a pad because it's light, but they're not factoring in the warmth of the pad. And it's extremely important um, in a quilt system, the pad gives you 100% of the warmth from the bottom. And so to have a pad that doesn't have the appropriate insulation just really leaves you lacking. We'll find a lot of people will use a pad with about a 3 or a 3.2 R value, which is really only good for about 30 degrees, and they'll try to use it to 20 degrees, and then they'll, they'll, they'll be cold and they'll be frustrated. And so the big key here is to use a, a warm pad. Uh, for 20 degrees, you need an R value of 4. Uh, as, as a minimum, you, you need four. If you know that you sleep cold, you should bump that up even more. When you get down to zero, you need a minimum of R6. Again, if you know you sleep cold, if you know that you're gonna be exposed in windy environments, you should bump that up, supplement with a closed cell phone pad. Choosing the wrong pad, or a pad that's not warm enough for the given situation, is, is a mistake that a lot of people make. Uh, very recently, I read an article on a very well-known ultralight backpacking website by a very well-known ultralight backpacker uh, who, who chose to use a, a pad with an R value of two on his last trip where he slept down to 21 degrees. Now that backpacker was cold and he admitted that he took the wrong pad and he had to supplement with some of his layers and the, the foam out of his backpack. But the point that I'm trying to make without calling anybody out is very experienced, very well-known backpackers can still have the tendency to choose lightweight over warmth. Please don't make that mistake. You have to have a warm pad. If this guy can make that mistake, anybody can. But the pad is the number one culprit for people being cold. In our systems, and realistically, when I, when I um, cruise the forums on the interwebs, everybody's talking about the pad is the problem. So please don't make that problem. Get a pad that's warm enough, R4 for 20 degrees, R6 plus for zero degrees. Um, you'll, you will absolutely thank me. Get the right pad, sleep warm. Good luck.